in your online course, you may be asked to submit some work as an attachment to a Dropbox. Here's how you do that. First, you go to the Dropbox for your assignment. In this case, it's called Use What You've Learned, a homework assignment. And there, toward the bottom of the page, you'll see an area with a title, a message, and a button for attachments. So first, enter a title. We recommend putting your name inside of the title field so that your instructor knows who it's from as soon as they look at the submissions. Next, if you have a message to your instructor, like say, hey, I really like this assignment, or hey, I really didn't like this assignment, you would type it inside of the message box. But do not type your assignment into the message box. That's not where it goes. Your assignment is going to be submitted as an attachment. Now to attach a file, click on the Attachments button, and this will load the Attachments Upload dialog. So, once the Attachments box loads, click on the Browse button, and then navigate through your computer to find the document that you're going to upload. In this case, it's called Student Checklist Assignment.doc, so I can select my file, and I click Open. Now, once you've done that, click the Upload File button and you'll see it listed inside of the Uploaded Files box right here. Once you're done, click Finished. Now, you're not quite done yet. You need to make sure you click the Submit button in order to submit your assignment. So click the Submit button, and then Angel will tell you your submission has been received successfully. And You click the OK button, and then you'll see right down here at the bottom your assignment listed. Now, other people won't be able to see your assignment. Only your instructor will be able to see that you've made the submission. Your instructor also gets this handy-dandy timestamp so that they know exactly when you submitted your work. If you have any questions or if you need assistance, please contact the Virtual College at virtual.college at mccc.edu or on the phone at 609-570-3389.